When you sit down to work at the computer, do you end up sitting in a position, something like this, where you're stretching in a more reclined position? Or maybe something like this, a bit more crunched up with your feet tucked under you? Or perhaps even sitting at an angle and a bit twisted? Now this is fine, but you may find that you get a bit of strain, tension on your back and other muscles. And what this film is designed to do is to help you to alleviate that and to set up your computer workstation so that you worked in a more relaxed, comfortable manner and it's safer for you. So first of all, let's start with the chair. All of the chairs we have in the IT section are all fully adjustable. The chairs all rotate on their base and they have movable seats in terms of the seat height, the seat depth and the seat back. So when you go to set up your computer, you need to think about how you're sitting first of all. And let's look at the seat height first of all. The seat height is adjusted with the clip on the right hand side here. And by taking your weight off the seat, you can see that the chair will lift up. Or with your weight on it, if you release it, you'll slip back down again. Okay? So it's just trying to find out what's a good height for you. The next thing to consider is the seat depth. The seats slide back and forward and there's a button again on the right hand side here and if you press that then you can pull or slide the seat forward or back and you see it's a little bit sticky and you maybe need somebody to help you here. The seat back is also adjustable and it's in clicks which move up the way so you've got to click it into position and then it'll slide back down to its base. So click it up and then back down again. And you can do this when you're actually sitting in the chair itself. There's also another switch on the other side that allows you to change the reclining position of the back. What you've got to do is think about your body and how it fits into that chair and make it comfortable for you. So let's get you set up at the desk. So pull yourself in. First thing we've got to think about is your height. And it doesn't matter where your feet are just now. The important thing to think about is actually where your arms are to start with. What you need to do is adjust the height of the chair so that your forearms are approximately parallel and that your elbows are at a 90 degree bend so that you're in a relaxed position with your arms. It's important that you think about your hands so that you've not got an excessive movement of up and down with the wrists. Then we can think about the seat depth. If the back of the seat is impinging on your knee, it's going to cause a lot of pressure. And the recommendation is that you have approximately three finger widths between the back of your knee and the front of the seat. If you haven't got a decent enough gap there, then adjust the seat. Next thing you've got to think about then is the height of the back of the chair. And again, change the position so that you've got good lumbar support. Support at your shoulders. If you want a bit of a recline, fine, but don't have it too excessive. Next, we need to think about the position of your feet. If your feet are flat on the floor, then that's fine. But if you find that your legs are a bit shorter and you're dangling there, then you need to bridge that gap. And this is where you have to think about some kind of foot rest. And this is where you can improvise using your bag or a backpack, something that you can put your feet onto. The important thing is to note that your knees should not be higher than your hips. And again, that will allow your legs to be relaxed. We need to think about the position of the screen. And obviously this will depend on your eyesight. You want to be able to see the screen. But a good approximation is to have the screen positioned an arm's distance away from you. If it's not, then adjust it. Bring the screen closer to you or adjust your chair, whatever. And that's a good working distance. Think about the screen height. The screen height should be adjusted to allow a comfortable reading height. Now, if you were a touch typist, you'd have the top of the screen level with your eyes. But if you're not so good at keying, then you're going to be looking down at the keyboard as well as looking up at the screen. And what you want to do is try and avoid excessive bobbing of your neck so that your head's not bobbing up and down. So there you've got to think about adjusting the height. Probably bring it down a bit lower. Make it into a position that's comfortable for you. Also think about the angle of the screen. There's a tilt there. 
So again, make it comfortable so that you can see the screen. And it's also good to try and avoid excessive glare on the screen whilst you're actually typing. Now you've got to think about the keyboard and it's important to have a bit of space between the desk and the keyboard to allow you to rest your wrist and your hands on. So move that keyboard away from the edge of the desk. Also think about where you're putting the mouse. Obviously right or left sided depending on if you're right or left handed. But avoid excessive stretching. Keep the mouse close to you. And again that allows your arm to be relaxed position and your hand to be relaxed. If you find that the mouse is moving away from you, then gradually bring it back again. So what we've done is we've looked at the position of you in relation to the desk, to the screen, to the keyboard with your feet on the floor. And it's important that you think about moving the equipment so that it fits you. The only thing that can't move here is the desk. Everything else is movable. So get it into a position that suits you. If you're not sure if you've actually set up your workstation properly, then ask somebody to observe you. Ask a competent person to look at you and be critical. Um, it's important that you are in a safe position. Now, most students will sit there for hours on end working away, and that's not very good for you. What you need to think about is, if you're going to be there for an hour, or more than an hour, is that you take adequate breaks. And the recommendation is you have a five to 10 minute break every hour. So make yourself get up, go away, make a cup of coffee, make that phone call, whatever. Change your position and then come back to work again. So hopefully this will help you. But if you have any problems, if you find that you're strained, getting a lot of shoulder tension, whatever, ask somebody for help. 